Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is deferred tax assets and deferred tax liabilities. When do we have deferred tax assets and deferred tax liabilities? Uh, uh, when the revenues and expenses and gain and losses included on the tax return may differ from those reported on the company's income statement for the same year. So our video will be based on US GAAP. Usually other countries, if it is not exactly the same, but the foundation is the same. So if you are not in the US, check your local laws about that. And why we have this difference? Because the objectives of financial reporting and those of taxing authorities are not the same. So, financial accounting standards are established to provide useful information to investors and creditors, and tax, they are looking for ways money to fund the state. So, that is why we have difference. And we have temporary difference. That is wh when we have deferred tax asset and deferred tax liabilities. And when we have it, when tax rules are in accounting rules, recognize income in different periods. So the income in the long run will be the same. However, they will be different in different periods. But when we combine them, they will be the same. So uh, this issue is not whether an amount is taxable or deductible, but when, when we will tax it. So it or originate in one period and reverse in one or more subsequent periods. And when do we have deferred tax liability? If tax law allows a company to postpone paying taxes, we have deferred tax liabilities. On the other hand, if tax law requires the company to pay more tax than is indicated by the activities reported in the current period's income statement, the company reports a deferred tax asset. Okay, for instance, deferred revenue. Usually tax, uh, tax demands to be paid when we receive the cash and not when we recognize the revenue. In some countries, for instance, here in the US, in, for many of them. And the tax expenses, uh, each year's tax expense reported in the income statement include not only a current portion related to tax payable, but also a deferred portion. So tax expense usually is the tax payable uh, plus or minus deferred tax liabilities and deferred tax assets. How do we do that? We, have the, we work with the four-step process. The first one, calculate tax payable, uh, how much we will be paying. Second one, calculate ending deferred tax assets and deferred tax liabilities. So how much would be our ending balance? Third, we calculate the change, ending balance, last beginning balance. So we determine the change, how much will be the variation uh, of our deferred tax assets and liabilities. And for plug tax expense, we find the tax expense. So we combine the tax payable and any changes in deferred tax accounts. Uh, some textbooks, they provide a formula with uh, plus or minus. However, it's easier if we think about debits and credits, okay? So let's go to our Excel file and all of our Excel, Excel files, they are free and the link to download it is in our video description. So let's start with deferred tax liabilities as the most common. Skype Incorporation purchased $100,000 of equipment in early January of 2020. We estimate the user for life of three years. So depreciates the equipment straight line 40,000 per year. However, tax law, uh, tax rules allow Scarping to take the depreciation in two years. So we have temporary difference. And let's assume here 25% tax rate and a pre tax accounting income of $200,000. So 
what do we have here? Pre-tax, accounting income 200. We need to sum the depreciation expense because it is deducted here above our pre-tax. So we exclude it. So we sum it and we, we deduct the depreciation expense in tax return. And here we will find our temporary difference. So we will pay, we will have $20 more in expense in 2020 and 2021, and for the expenses less in 2022. So our taxable income will be 180 for 2020 because it's 200 plus 40 less 60, and 180 2021. 240, 2022, and our total 600. Our total, oh, in a different color here. 600, 600. So we have temporary difference. So we have deferred tax liabilities. Uh, so we have here, uh, how do we do that? Current year, 2020, we have this situation here, this 180, and here the future years. And the total of difference for the future years is uh, plus 20. And the enacted tax rate, 25%. So our income tax payable will be 45 on current year and future years, 5. So these 5 here, is the ending balance of the deferred tax liability. So that's why we have it here. Okay. Step one, tax payable, 45. So let's do it together. Okay. Let's do it together. So step one, tax payable, 45. Step two, ending balance in 2020, five. And this ending balance is the ending balance here. How much the change? Ending balance less beginning balance, five. And the tax expense plug. That is easier if we do the journal entry. Because the tax expense plug is the income tax expense. So they will be the same. They will be the same here. How do we do that? Income tax payable, 45. How do we know that we have deferred tax liability? Because this total here is a positive number. If we go to deferred tax asset, it will be a negative number. Okay, so positive number, it means that we will pay more tax in the future. So we have deferred tax liability. That is our change. That is our five. So that is our yellow here. Uh, how much is the income tax expense? It is the difference. Or the number to balance, that is the sum of our credits, 50, our tax expense plug, 50. Next year, exactly the same. However, future years, we have only one future year and we will pay $10 more. So here, what do we have? Tax payable. 45 ending balance 2021 the 10 so let's do it here the five the changes here five and the tax plug let's do it considering the uh journal entries and here wow we have a problem here Never have negative number in deferred tax liability. So deferred tax liability, our change is a credit 
one. So our change here, five. And the income tax expense is the sum of our credits. So here is our deferred tax for our tax expense plan. 2022, no more deferred tax liabilities because we finished our temporary difference on 2022. 2022, so our in our taxable income is not 180 anymore, it's 240. So 240, our tax rate will be 60. Okay, so tax payable 60. Ending balance, 10. Changes, negative 10. So our deferred tax liability decreases in 10. So, okay. Let's do it here. Whoop, whoop, here. So, Income uh, deferred tax liability. Deferred tax liability. If it is negative 10, it is a debit. So we have negative here, so we have a debit. Income tax payable 60. How much do we need to balance it? Credit less. Whoops. Credit less debit. We have the 50. And here, the 50. So here, guys, the tax expense, it's the same. 50, 50, 50, because our pre-tax accounting income is also the same. So usually, when we have the same accounting income, we have the same income tax expense. And what about if you tax assets? That is our uh, deferred revenue here. So the same $200,000 or of pre-tax income. And 2020 income tax income statement does not include $100,000 of magazine subscription received. Instead, the revenue will be recognized for financial reporting purpose in 2021 and 2022. 80,000 and 40,000. So what do we have here? 2020, we need to add uh, $120,000 because it is taxable when we receive it. However, we will exclude it in 2021 and 2022 because this 80, it is added in on this 200 thousand dollars here so temporary difference 120 negative 80 negative 40 if you check here it's the opposite negative negative positive here positive negative negative okay how do we do that we do exactly the same income uh, tax rate 25 however Future years, we will pay less tax. So if we will pay less tax, we have deferred tax assets. So the same, but we use deferred tax asset instead of deferred tax liability. So we need to reverse our thinking now. Instead of credits, we will be thinking about debits. Tax payable 80, 25% of retained it. Ending balance. 30, that is the 30 here. So negative 30 means debit. Uh, change. So here is the orange. Whoop. This is the same orange. Change 30. So tax expense plug. Let's do our journal entry and find the tax expense plug. Is our light blue and tax plug will be here so income tax payable 80 credit it is a payable 
the favorite tax asset is this 30, is the change. So we are debiting it because it is increasing our deferred tax asset. Income tax expense, the difference, 80 less 30, 50. The same 50 here because our pre-tax accounting income is 200. Okay, or so the same 200. Uh, 2021, now we have lower income, taxable income. Instead of 200, we have the 80. And we still have an imbalance of 10. So, tax payable, 120 times 25%. And imbalance, instead of 30, it will be 10. So, our change is negative 20. It is decreasing in 20. So, what do we do here? So let's do it. This one here. So income tax payable, 30. If it is a negative change in some asset, we need to credit it. So negative 20 here. Income tax expense, the sum of our credits here, 50, the number to balance. 2022. The same tax payable now 40 and in balance nothing, and so we have a change of negative 10 because our beginning balance was 10. And here, income tax payable 40, change negative 1, income tax expense the number to balance it 50. Okay, so we don't have a new expense or a new revenue for deferred tax. We combine in income tax expense. So we combine it in the uh, $50,000 here. Okay, guys, so this is temporary difference. We are not talking about a permanent difference or uh, when we have losses or previous losses. We uh, are recording videos about it. So probably in a few days, if you are watching it uh, as soon as we upload it, or if you just wait some time, the video uh, is or will be in our video description too. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives, especially this about permanent difference and about, about previous losses. Uh, like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. If you have any questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.